This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Tony Kroos starts. A brief moment here, Derek. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. City get things going again, and the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. Doku. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Electing to shoot. Oh, he's blocked it! Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Federico Valverde. Mendy has it. Committed challenge. Plenty of support here. Chance to equalise. A smart stop here. And short it is. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Good weight on that pass. Rodri. Ruben Dias. Guardiol. Jeremy Doku. Rodri. He could pick out a teammate. And he cuts in from the wing. Genuine chance. Well, it's not going to count. Flag up quickly then. Yeah, he was offside by quite a bit there, and he knew it. Federico Valverde. Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. And a long way out. And what a magical save it was. Cross with the corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Oh, tremendous goal. A long way out, but took it on. A memorable finish. away again and a 2-0 advantage here <laughs> Jeremy Doku oh he's given it away Nacho Fernandez 
Mendy has it. Alvarez. The ball with Rodri. Holland. Rodri. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Could pull one back here. Full credit. Wonderful stop. Well, catching it sweetly, but not quite the accuracy he was looking for. Well, it's always a difficult technique on the volley, but I think that's a massive chance he should score from. Lucas Vasquez. Rudiger. Mendy has it. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Alvarez. Cross. Firing it in. And fine goalkeeping. Corner kick delivery from Tony Cross. Danger still on. Course. Just cutting off the supply. Gvardiol. Here's Alvarez. Into the advanced position. Holland. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Jude Bellingham. This is Kroos. Now with Fernandez. Rudiger. Lucas Vasquez. And now Rodrigo. Valverde. And on to Bellingham. It's an accurate pass from Kroos. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Well, in typical fashion, Erling Haaland asking plenty of questions of the defence in the first half. Difficult to contain, Stuart. Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. The ball is moving again. City trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? A City free kick forthcoming. And no nonsense defensive clearance. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Mendy, high quality defending. Vinicius Junior, well, it could be on for him here. Well, that is high level goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. That's goalkeeping of the highest quality, I would say. And fired over by Kors. And well positioned to clear. Oh, good save. A change in the offing for City. Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. And swept out of there. Options in the middle. 
takes it on. Real defensive resilience. Great block again. Rudiger. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Had to play Real Madrid throw here. Tony Kroos. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Good ball to switch the play. Rudiger. Lucas Vasquez. Fine build up as they look to add to their advantage. Fluency of movement. Course. Can he play it in? Course. Determined defending. Well, he's beaten his opponent. Vinicius. Another block. Phil Foden. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. Foden. Tony Kors, full of ideas on the passing front. Rodrigo. Is it going to be? Oh, great defending. Walker. Phil Foden now. De Bruyne. Well, beating his opponent. Holland. Well, there it is. Real resilience for you, having been two goals down. Well, just look how easily Foden drifts past his marker there. And Haaland wasn't going to miss that one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. So back underway. Dead level. 2-2. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Aurelien Chouameni. Mendy has it. Jude Bellingham. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. At this late stage, Real Madrid doing everything in their path. Looked as though it might be the decisive goal, but the keeper had other ideas. Well, he's just saved his team here. What a reaction that is. Who can he pick out? On the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. The ball back with Real now. Plenty of support here. Vinicius Jr. Vinicius! And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Just look at this. He keeps his composure and he almost passes it into the back of the net. That's a very good goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider. Jack Grealish. Time is against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. And quick thinking defensively. Well, 
Nice weight on the pass. Is this the moment? Oh, a fantastic save. But the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Nacho Fernandez. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. De Bruyne has support. Bernardo Silva. This could square the game. Still could be dangerous. Well, a vital interception to snuff out the danger. The final whistle and Real Madrid hold the advantage going into the return leg. Yeah, that was a tight game and I think they just about deserve their lead. But it's a slender one and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final. And he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, no doubt in my mind, he was the best player on the pitch. And the main reason they won this game, he was brilliant. This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams who demonstrably belong on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and the fans wired in? It's Manchester City. They take on Real Madrid, and it's coming up next on EA TV. Well, we should be in for a night of drama here at the home of Manchester City. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It is Manchester City, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, I can't wait for this one, Derek. It's all set up for a really good game. Real have the lead, but I think this is going to be a really close tie today. That's going to be a City ball. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Rodri plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Succeeded in blocking it. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside David Alaba in central defence. Eduardo Camavinga starts alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. City know that wide area is really opening up. And pull back. Huge block. Can he put it in? but still a chance and the flag was up in good time it's offside well he should have realised that was going to be offside that's a poor decision to play that pass Lucas Vasquez and City have possession once more promising sequence Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland. What are you expecting to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. He is the player to do it. He's brilliant with his back to goal. We'll link up the play, and he's key to the way they play the game. Crossing possibilities. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Jude Bellingham Rodrigo chance to finish and a goal and I'll tell you what that gives them a bit of a cushion now
Well, this deserves another look. Just see the bend he gets on the ball. That's a great bit of skill and an excellent goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Rodri. The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne now. De Bruyne. It's looking promising. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. They favoured a short one here. Well, oh, not great defending. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Short corner taken. Ruben Dias. It has to be! And just over the bar, albeit narrowly. David Alaba. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. And they have possession again. Well, he had to read it and get there and did. Phil Foden. Take it away, he won the ball. Doku. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Vardiol. Oh, surely! Shot blocked, but still alive. will now make use of the substitutes bench well these fans can sense an opportunity here they need to make the most of this corner well a short corner here De Bruyne looking for the angle Mendy Vinicius Junior and City recovering possession well. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Holland. Oh, might be. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The match has restarted here in Manchester. Well, no way through. Vinicius Junior. And Real Madrid have it back now. Eduardo Camavinga. Rudiger. This is Alaba. Mendy. 
Tony Kroos. Kamavinga. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Holland. Opportunity it is. Must be. Can they keep it out? A good and fair challenge. Bellingham. Oh, the ball back with City here. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Takes the shot. And rattling the post. And a goal! And now the question is, can they come up with one more? Well, just look at this. He's so bright in the box. He's first to the ball and then a decent finish. It's a good bit of play. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Might be a chance here. Not to be for him. He went for power over placement. Well, you're right. He decided to go for the power, which in the end he couldn't control. He'll be furious with himself. That's a big miss. Gvardiol. And Grealish. And teammates around him. Holland. De Bruyne at the ready. Making sure nothing came of it. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, a classic example of how to intercept. What can Real do from this position? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Can the owner of the Red Sports Car, that's a Red Sports Car, outside main reception please return to your excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour everyone wants to see officials let the play flow in that manner but now the free kick has to be awarded and that is going to mean a caution the referee is absolutely right he knew what he was doing there Grealish nice weight on the pass oh what a clearance under pressure had to react and did well the defenders know they need to get tighter can't really allow runs like that out of play in a Real Madrid throw in coming up can't miss surely and a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, as the replay shows us, Vinicius Junior's pass is inch perfect. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Rodri. And the ball with De Bruyne. And he's making progress. Rodri. Cross-fired over. Well, no problems defensively. He's in here. And it goes! Closer, can they grab another one? Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Oh, 
So back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. Rudiger. Well, you might say it's the ideal way to see out a game when you can pass like this. Well read to win possession back. Only five minutes left for play and tension galore with the teams locked together. Really inventive stuff from Real here. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Rodri. Well, that was incisive. Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, time running out, but a goal here, and surely we'd be looking at extra time. Pretty simple for the keeper. What can he do with it now? And he takes on the shots. And that's it. Official now. Real Madrid have made it to the final. Well, I thought they fully deserved their win because over the two legs, they were more fluent with their passing, had a more structured game plan and created the better opportunities.